Good afternoon, everyone. So, I am Teacher Michelle, and I will be your mathematics teacher for today. Before we begin our lesson this afternoon, let us ask the guidance of Almighty God, and let us enlighten our mind to completely understand the lesson this afternoon. So, kindly bow your heads and listen to the prayer. Let us bow our head and pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before we begin our class, I want to remind you with our virtual class rules. So keep your cameras on if you are having enough data. But if you don't have enough data, just turn it off. Then set your microphone to mute. You just turn it on if I call your name and wanted you to speak. Raise the hand button if you want to recite. Then lastly, listen carefully to Teacher Michelle. Is that clear? Kindly go to your STEP account for your attendance. Before we start our new lesson for this afternoon, let us first recall what you have learned about direct variation. So that topic was tackled yesterday. But we will do this in a form of a game called Pick Me. I have three questions here inside my cap and the questions is written in the strip of a paper. I will pick one question here inside the cap randomly. Whatever question I will be able to pick, you're going to answer it. Whoever has an idea, you can raise your hands. Just click the raise hand button do you understand let us start then so this is your first question the question is what is direct variation what is direct variation? Yes, Kim. Very good. Next question. Give one example of situation that illustrates direct variation. Anyone? Yes, very good. Then the last one, there is only one left. The question is, what is the formula for direct variation? Yes, Ella. Amazing. So everybody give them a virtual cup. So as you can see on my PowerPoint presentation, you can see a picture. I want you to analyze the picture on it. So give me some uh, ideas than the picture. I will give you one minute. All right, time is up. So what have you seen in the picture? Anyone? Yes, a tree. A mountain, kainin, very good. <clears throat> so what can you say about the picture? Yes, there are less trees. So if the number of trees decreases, what are the possible things to happen? Yes, nice one. Yes. So I have here the statement, as the number of trees decreases, the air pollution. Okay, very good. So that statement, as the number of trees decreases, the air pollution increases, is an example of inverse variation. So yesterday, we tackled about direct variation. 
So now we're going to tackle inverse variation. So we have here another example of situation that shows inverse variation. So we have here the table, a relationship that exists between the speed and the time of travel. So we have here in the table, the speed and the time. So kindly study the table and give me your ideas after. So I will call somebody to express or to share his or her ideas. So I will give you one minute to study the table and I will call later to uh, share his or her ideas. Alright, one minute is up. How do the speed and the time of travel affect each other? Yes, very good. As the speed decreases, the time increases. Alright, so let's have this another activity called Try Me. So you will do this activity individually. I will give you the situation, then you will answer the questions that follows. You will given 10 minutes to do this activity. So this is the situation and the following question is provided. Okay, 10 minutes starts now. All right, so anyone who want to share his or her answer? Yes, Renel. Yes, very good. As the number of men increases, the number of hours to work on decreases. So that's the relationship between the number of men and the number of hours. So from the previous activities that we had, what concepts behind the situations have you encountered? Anyone? Very good. So what is inverse variation? Yes, very good. That's good idea. So now we're going to define inverse variation and when thus inverse variation occurs. Inverse variation occurs when ever a situation produces pairs of numbers whose product is constant. For two quantities x and y, an increase in x causes a decrease in y or vice versa. We can say that y varies inversely as x or y is equal to k over x. So when we say inverse variation, it is opposite. We have here example. So this example are translating into mathematical equation. So we are going to translate the statement into mathematical equation. So we have here the number one. The number of persons denoted as n needed to do a job varies inversely as the number of days denoted as d to finish the job. So the mathematical equation for this is n is equal to k over d. Did you get it? All right, so number two, the number of pitchai plants denoted as N in a row varies inversely as the space denoted as S between them. So the mathematical equation for this is N is equal to K over S. Did you get it, guys? Did you understand? So before we proceed, so the sit board are free to ask me some questions or verifications regarding our topic today. None. Okay, so it is set for time. Determine whether the given situations illustrate inverse variation or not. 
determine whether the given situations illustrate inverse variation or not. Draw happy face if it is inverse variation and translate it to mathematical equation. And sad face if it is not. So did you get the instructions? So if the situation illustrates inverse variation, you draw happy face and you're going to translate it to the mathematical equation. Meanwhile, if it is not a uh, inverse variation, you're going to draw side face. So you're going to answer this on a one whole sheet of paper. So I will give you five minutes to answer this activity. All right, so let's check your papers. So we have here number one. So now keep your papers for I will ask for the scores later on our group chat. So now give me an example of a situation that illustrates inverse variation. Good. Very good. So as we can observe, there are a lot of situations in our everyday life that illustrates inverse variation. So now let's have a recap of what we have discussed today. So again, what is inverse variation? Excellent. What are the concepts to remember about inverse variation? Yes, first, then the last one, excellent, that's very, very good. You really understand our topic for today, and by that, let's have a last activity. So, we have here the direction, kindly read. Alright, so you're just going to translate the following statements into mathematical equation. Yes, that's it. So you have 10 minutes to answer this one. So before we end our Google meeting and I have here an assignment. So do the activity 11, observe and compare that is found on page 207 on your learner's material book. So this is page 207. So I will check this next meeting. So that's all for today, everyone. Thank you for participating and I hope you are learning. Goodbye, guys. Keep safe.